Okay, I uh, just got on the uh, Seafood Oyster Bay. I want to take this exit, 13E, excuse me, west, because it goes to the Northern State Parkway West. It's the only way. So basically, I just got on, I'm heading back, and I just get onto this exit for about a little over a mile, and it leads to the Northern State. So here we go again, I'm just going to show you. And it leads on. To the LIE, which it's only for about a mile, mile and a half, whatever it is. You have to, there's two exits here, so see, you have to get over it, which appears to be, ooh, not that good. Sorry. Uh, you gotta get over into the, the, the third lane. Just stay in this lane, not Robin's lane, which is that one. You want to stay just in this lane because about a mile or so from now, it's going to be Northern State Parkway. See now the sign just says West New York, one mile. It's exit 42 on the LIE. Okay, whatever it's worth. I don't. The sign says one half mile. Blah blah blah. Now here we go. Here's the here's the exit off of the LIE to the Northern State. Just gonna let this go for a little bit. We just get off of here. It takes it 42 again, whatever it's worth. And you just follow this, and it comes out to which is approximately the halfway point home anyway, to 106, 107. And just to keep it going, so you see, this is the Northern State Parkway. smooth usually except for this in this juncture because everybody kind of gets off for 106 107 and gets on as well and uh, that's kind of it it opens up later on to after the Wantor Expressway to three lanes and then it opens up to five lanes because of the uh, the, the, the Meadow Parkway so just keep you stay on this, and you want to get off at the Meadowbrook Parkway, 84 miles from Meadowbrook. Now the, here comes the Wantor Parkway, in which the um, two lanes open up into three. It just feels like you get going here, and it kind of really moves very easily. And I usually drift right into the right lane because the Meadowbrook Parkway comes up uh, about two miles or so from there. But with that, that car is over there, that's why I want to kind of get into the right lane. Which I will right now. And I just stay here, that's it. George Beats, Jeff Mile. The sign says Glencoe Road North 25, next right. But you get off of this for Meadowbrook Parkway South. You don't go Glencove Road, you just go south. So it's the same as at this, at this juncture, but yet further down it splits. One heading north to Glencove Road and one heading south on the left for Jones Beach and or Old Country Road of course. You can stay in this right lane. Let's see the signs up ahead it says Jones Beach and Glencove Road. Glencove goes to the right. We just follow this to the left. Jones Beach, see? Very simple. And then you have plenty of time you need it to get to your right lane. Even if you don't get onto your right lane, you can get off at the Roosevelt Field exit or the Stewart Avenue exit. But look, see that? I'm going to kind of go in front of this guy, I guess. And all I want to do is try to get off at this exit. Which um, it's very easy. You have to get used to it. It's, it's uh, Old Country Road exit. And, uh, okay, and here we are basically coming to Old Country Road exit. Here it is. And if you miss it, if you can't get over it, go down to the next one. So it's so easy. And I know I sound like a, a, a broken record, but here you have your own lane to make a right hand turn, which people don't really quite get. You could just automatically make a right hand turn right there after you stop. 
But people look because they're probably going to Christmas or field or whatever, blah, 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 blah. But, you, but if you ever get to this point, just make a quick right turn and then you can drift over to the left. It's so easy, but people just don't seem to catch on here. Stay in lane. That's me. That means, so you got your own lane right here. Go ahead, you can make it. There you go. Good going. Just like I did. That's it.